For Complex News, I'm Pierce Simpson. On Sunday afternoon, Paul Pierce had his jersey retired at the TD Garden in Boston during what was supposed to be a monumental event for both him and the Celtics. But unfortunately for Pierce, things did not go according to plan. For whatever reason, the Celtics scheduled the jersey retirement ceremony for after the game against the Cavaliers, and while that would have been fine if the Celtics had pulled out a win over Cleveland, Boston got destroyed during a contest and ended up losing to the New Look Cavs by more than 20 points. As a result, Pierce spent most of the fourth quarter sitting around impatiently waiting for the game to end, and in the process, social media turned him into a meme. It had many people wondering why the Celtics didn't choose to hold the jersey retirement ceremony either before the game or at halftime, when the Celtics and their fans would have actually been in the mood to celebrate. Despite becoming a meme, Pierce didn't catch as much slack as his former Celtics teammate Rajon Rondo did. Rondo and the New Orleans Pelicans played in a hard fought game against the Brooklyn Nets on Saturday night that went all the way to double overtime. But Rondo didn't let that stop him from boarding a flight to Boston where he sat next to his former teammate Kevin Garnett and former head coach Doc Rivers during the game on Sunday. Rondo was clearly set on showing love to Pierce on his big day. However, when he got dressed for the game, Rondo decided to wear a pair of sneakers with Velcro on them. And of course, that set NBA Twitter on fire with hundreds of people commenting on Rondo's choice of shoes for the game. The NBA sent out a tweet featuring a photo of KG, Rondo, and Rivers shortly after the contest started. And as soon as people caught a glimpse of what Rondo was wearing on his feet, homie got roasted. One Twitter user described the sneakers as looking like my grandfather's New Balances with some paw prints on the sole. Another person called them the AARP 3s. Some suggested it looked like Rondo had scored a sneaker deal with Big Baller brand while others called the sneakers some variation of the timeshare in Boca Raton 11s. Eventually, the Cavaliers and Celtics game came to an end and Paul Pierce did what he came to do. He watched as his jersey number was retired into the rafters at the TD Garden, and he officially became a part of the Celtics' storied history, but not before he had to share the spotlight for a while. On the day when Paul Pierce was supposed to take center stage, Rondo's sneakers somehow managed to upstage him and steal the show. That's the news for now. For more sports updates, keep it locked to Complex News by subscribing to us on YouTube, where you can also check out Out of Bounds. For Complex News, I'm Peter Simpson.